Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to be going through how I block my brows down for when I'm doing drag makeup. This is something that I kind of struggled with a lot when I was learning how to do drag and even though I could see loads of tutorials about how to do it online it was still really hard for me to get right because I do have thicker bushier brows it is a bit harder to lay them down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my whole process of gluing them down powdering them and drawing my new brow on over it and if you haven't seen it yet I just popped the drag tutorial up on my channel it's with a bit of a neon wig going on it was kind of like a black smoky eye graphic liner moment so if you haven't seen that yet I will pop that up here for you so as I said if you want to see how I get rid of my brows so I risk how I re-sculpt my face stay tuned and let's get into this video So I've just got me zoomed in here so you can get more of a close up look to see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to get some rubbing alcohol and I'm going to get it on a cotton pad and I'm just going to run that through my eyebrows just to get rid of any excess dirt, oils, grease, glue from the last time that I glued them down. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that there, scrub it through and then we'll move on to gluing it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go right into the brow like this. Just going back and forward, making sure I'm getting through all of the hair and just above the brow on the skin and just under it also. If you just plucked your eyebrows and then you're doing this, it is going to sting a lot. But cleaning it like this does help your brows stay glued down and it makes sure that they won't pop after you're gluing them down and putting the makeup on as well. It just kind of gets a nice sturdy base to actually get started with gluing the brows down. Perfect. So now I'm just going to give them a little brush through. I usually block my eyebrows down with a toothbrush because I like with this soft side that it kind of smooths it out. Then with the tongue scrubbing side, it's actually really good for laying the hairs flat. So I usually, I used to use a spoolie but I found I was just throwing them out too much and these are way easier to clean as well. So toothbrush. There's one in every house. Use it. So now I'm going to go in on my Elmer's glue and um, this is the purple washable one. I kind of like using this because with the purple glue you can actually see when the layers are dry so it does help you kind of figure out how fast everything's going but one thing I will say is I do kind of prefer using Pritt Stick on my own brows because it does seem to be thicker and it doesn't budge as easy but maybe it's just like it's only my third time using the Elmer's glue instead of, glue stick, instead of Pritt Stick so maybe it, I just haven't gotten used to it yet. So what I'm going to do here now is just get the glue stick and I'm going to rub it in circular motions against the grain of the hair and just applying a large amount of it into the eyebrow. And I'm just going to do the exact same with the other side. So now that it's like this, what I'm going to do is just get the glue stick and push it in the direction that I want it to go just to make sure everything, don't worry if it's getting messy, we can clean that up in a minute. Just to make sure all the hairs are lying flat and we're not taking any excess glue off yet. Because there's no point of putting all of this on if you're just gonna take it all off with the brush anyway. So now what I do is I get the tooth brush and with the soft side, I just brush it up. And I just brush all the hairs in the direction that they naturally kind of fall, just because I find that's how it lays flattest for me. So now I'm just going to use the back side of it and I'm just going to press this up against the brow and this really just flattens it out. What I like to do as well is just stretch the skin a little bit just to make sure the hair is lying as flat as it possibly can. And then after I have that done, I just like to go in with my finger and smooth over it. So just gonna do the exact same on the other side. I'm like using the reflection of the camera lens as one of my mirrors. So sorry if this eye contact is um, awkward. <laughs> So 
once the purple actually dries clear, you know that the glue is dry. Just between each layer, what I like to do is take off any of the excess glue that's around because if you leave it build up to the end it's really hard to remove it when it's that thick. So I'm going to go in with about probably three or four layers of glue. So I'll just speed you up to that process and I'll come back to you when I am powdering. So while the last layer of glue is still wet, this is usually when I'd go in and powder just because it really takes the powder in to help cover up the glue. So just going in with the Makeup Revolution Bacon Finish, it's a ghost finish powder, so it does have a bit of brightening and lightening effects to it. I'm just gonna start at the back of the brow with a lot of product on the powder puff and work it forward, tapping gently to lay the powder down first. So that is usually the last layer of glue that I do. I don't usually go over powder again with another layer of glue. But what I will do is just get the puff, pick up another little bit of powder and just really press the eyebrow flat. And that is pretty much the basic part of just gluing them down just kind of smoothing them out so you have no texture and just making them disappear. Now, up to yourself, you can color correct or not. I typically don't because my eyeshadow and my new eyebrows that I'm gonna draw on and my concealer will cover over it. So just using the brush, I'm gonna get some of this Krylon TV paint stick in 2W and I'm gonna put lay this down over the eyebrows. So it's just kind of close to my skin tone so it's a nice base to start with. And that's a good kind of base coverage for the eyebrows just to make sure that they're not going to show through. So now what I'm gonna go do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my regular foundation. I use MAC NC20. It's a little bit darker in my skin but I like it as a contrast against my highlights. And just because this is a bit stiffer, I'm gonna go in over it now with this liquid just to help blend it out and just to make sure that it is fully covered. The more coverage over brow blocking is the better usually. And just make sure to put a lot of time into actually working on the base of blocking out your brows because once you're doing your makeup, if it's not okay, you can't fix it when you're like drawing your eyebrows on or you're doing your eyeshadow. So just make sure to put a lot of time into these steps at the start to make sure that you're not causing yourself a harder time like learning how to do makeup or trying to do something new when the time comes, you know? So now I'm just gonna go in with some white cream paint. I'm using the Krylon Super White and I'm just going to lay this down over the brows in the middle. So here's a good starting point for actually drawing your eyebrows now. So what I like to do usually is I start by getting some concealer on a little flat top concealer brush and I like to sketch what shape I'm usually going to do my brows. But before I do that I like to do the contouring on my head just so it has nice contrast and that I don't have to worry about things mixing up with each other in a while. So I'm just going to get some more of my foundation, get it onto the back of my hand. So now I'm just going to go into my contour shade which is the Krylon TV Paint Stick in 7W. It's a warm undertoned brown. I'm just going to smack this on where I would usually contour. That should give you a nice little contrast between the light in the centre and back there. So what I like to do now is I like to get the white on that little concealer brush and just plop that here in the middle. Now with my flat top concealer brush, I'm gonna go in and care about the shape of my eyebrows. So I usually start close to where my natural eyebrow starts and I cross it up across my eyebrow 
and I'll pretty much show you the shape that I usually like to go for. So I kind of like to go diagonally up and then straight out. So I've just popped the other brow bone on. I've just concealed under it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with my brow product, which I'm using the Sleek Brow Kit in the shade Dark. And I'm going in with the Waxy product just to sculpt out the shape. Since I'm going over creams, it's going to be easier to work with something that is a little bit creamier. So that's why I'm not using a powder now and I can go back in and reinforce everything then in a while. So just picking up a little bit of that product on a teeny tiny little packing brush. It's a small little dense stiff brush and not starting at the front of my eyebrow. I'm going to start a little bit back and try get this onto my face. So just above where I put the bottom arch, I'm going to get this line and as I'm putting it down, I'm kind of curving it. So first of all, I'm kind of going out and then I'm going to bring it down. Just like so. So now what I usually do is I just go ahead and fill it in. So at this stage with the eyebrows, what I do is I just go in and powder all the creams that I have just laid down. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now by getting a big fluffy brush, picking up a bit of a translucent powder and just tapping it over everything like so. Just getting that brush we originally used when we drew out the shape, just because it does have a bit of that wax product on it, it is going to pick up a little bit more product out of the pan. So just using the side of the angled brush, I'm just going to pick that up and I'm going to use kind of a dark, cool toned brown. And just with the lines we've placed down, I'm just going to go in and reinforce those shapes. So I just kind of stamped that line on with the brush just to make sure I'm getting a bit more precision. You can go back in with concealer again after this and clean up the bottom of it again. We just did it at the start just so we had a guide where everything was going. So there is the brows kind of just reinforced and restructured again. So what you could do here now is you could go in and add a few hair strokes. For the sake of the video, I will do it, but I don't usually do it because I find I usually end up tugging on the glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get that brush again, the small one with, that's very stiff, and just I'm gonna pinch the brush so it's nice and flat, as flat as it can be dip it into a dark brown powder and what I like to do is I just usually give the brush a little lick just like that and what you can do then is just go in with a darker brown than that and you can just add a few little lines with barely any concealing product or barely any of the white I pick a teeny tiny bit up on the brush that I've just used and tap off the excess on my hand just in a few of the empty spaces I'm going to lay down this white And this is where I am at with the eyebrows. So here is the finished eyebrow tutorial. So we've gone through blocking them, uh, concealing them, covering them up and laying them down and drawing them 
on and how to get them to this shape here. We put in a few hair strokes, so we showed a few different techniques and how you can fill it in. I hope you're able to take something away from this video today and at least learn one or two things to help you glue your eyebrows down a little bit more. If there's anything else that I can help people out with, please do leave a message for me or do drop a comment down in the comment box down below and at least then I'll get to make more content like this, which you're after requesting for. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell too because you'll get updates every time that I upload a new video. And if you want to see how I carried on from this eyebrow look, I'm going to be coming with a base tutorial next, just going through everything that I do with skin and just covering a few of my basic routines so in videos in the future I don't have to be dragging it on and I can just get straight into whatever work I'm actually trying to do. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will catch you in the next one.